Okay, so we have a ABS sensor from a Mercedes 126 vehicle, like a 300 SE, 560 SEL. Here's the ABS sensor on the front, that's what it looks like. This is the end that goes into the uh, caliper, it sticks through a hole, and then this uh, this part right here is the center pole of the pickup. This thing is essentially like a guitar pickup, except it's got one pole instead of six. There's a big coil around this part. It's shielded here. I cut open this wire expecting to find a shielded piece of coax or something, but it's not even shielded and it's just two, just a pair of wires like this. It kind of surprised me there. So story here is a uh, very good mechanic. I was working on my car and uh, after doing some front end work, the uh, ABS was chattering really bad on the uh, front driver's side. And uh, this uh, sensor was tested. It was within specification. The, the, the DC resistance was correct, yet every time uh, you drove the vehicle and the slightest braking, it would start chattering. And it started doing this all of a sudden. And we don't really know why it started doing it all of a sudden. Um, so I tried to do some failure analysis here, and I found some interesting things about it. Um, first, just to show you, this is uh, my test leads that I have clamped together here. They're kind of in rough shape, but they're still fairly low resistance, and they work. Um, and as you can see, if I move, if I kind of wiggle the wires around the test lead, there's a little motion on the voltage, but not really a whole lot. There's not really a whole lot of electricity, a lot of noise really being generated by moving these test leads around. But let's hook these test leads up to this pickup, this ABS pickup essentially, and see how it performs um, under those same circumstances. So we can see and it's picking up a little bit of voltage just because you know there's a big mag there's a big magnet in the pickup here, so any ambient electrical field. It's going to pick up a little voltage, right? That's to be expected. But look what happens when we move, when we start moving the wire around. Now I can actually take this pickup and, you know, put something heavy, not necessarily heavy, but just something, let's put a couple things on it to keep it from moving, right? And look at all that DC. 0.2 millivolts, 0.3 crackly noise essentially you know, and I let it go and it goes back down to almost nothing now switching over to resistance 1.37k it's pretty much within spec um, but again if we move the wire well, that's interesting I'm getting a lot less movement on this than I was previously in this test which is curious actually pretty stable now. Well, in my previous test, I had tested with this still in the circuit, and I'd cut this off. I wonder if it's a simple, you know, of course this end of the plug was not disturbed during the work that my mechanic did, so I, I don't understand how suddenly this would have failed. Could have been, you know, this thing was kind of near failure for quite some time and something just pushed it over the edge but I do find it interesting that when you put it on DC volts and move the wire around actually it seems to be ah look and it depends on where you move the wire too doesn't it so let's move it right here near the near the sensor end well obviously if I let's just see what let's just see what happens when I touch the, the pole. I'm kind of pinning it to the table so it doesn't move. Okay, so just me touching it doesn't make it move all that much. But when I start moving this around here, right where it goes into the unit, you can see that the voltage is jumping all over the place. I mean, it's still very, very low voltage, but you have to understand that this system is a very low voltage system. It measures pulses generated by the, the notches in the rotor moving past this pickup. 
much the same way I'm moving this little steel wiper blade, uh, you know, headlight wiper blade. And you can see every time I move it past the pickup, it makes a voltage. And that's how the ABS computer knows that the wheel is still turning. If it's unable to distinguish these pulses of the rotor turning from noise in the line, then it may very well think that the wheel isn't turning or is turning at a different rate of speed than the other wheels and therefore causes the ABS to try and compensate. It thinks that one of the wheels is locked up as a result. And, and, yep, and there we go. So almost certainly the failure here is not in the coil itself, which seems to work just fine. It's got a nice strong magnet still didn't lose its magnetism. Um, although, you know, that's always a possibility too that something happened that made it lose its magnetism like getting bonked by a hammer or something like that, but it clearly didn't. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with this wire was aged, oxidized, and probably brittle and just being flexed a few times during the normal process of working on the vehicle it went out of spec and it's probably one of those things where like you know if you like a bad pair of headphones where you you know push it to one side oh it works now you know, oh wait no it, now my phone's charging now it's not charging right it's something like that it's just the wire fortunately you really can't replace it this thing is sealed really uh you know molded plastic i don't see how you could ever get in there and solder new wires on be cool if you could because these things are 100, and 100 plus, easy. Anyway, so there you go. That's my half-assed failure analysis of the ABS sensor. And see, you know, and, and here's the thing. The most important part of this is remember, when it's sitting here motionless like this, and you take a resistance measurement of it, you know, when you're in the shop, the car's sitting still, the wire's not moving around, it's going to measure in spec, right? Uh, you, you start driving it around and look what happens to the resistance. It starts going all over the place as soon as you start moving it, right? And, you know, and, this, and this meter is showing us out to six, out to six decimal places, so it, <laughs> or, yeah, there you go. It's the wire. <laughs>